Political Geography by Eilish, Granby, Selena, Sydney, and Evie. How countries are defined. Countries are defined by a rec recognition by another country, a stable government, a stable economy, defined territory, and a permanent population. Um, there are different types of countries. Uh, first, there's a nation, which is a group of people with a common culture. And then there's a nation state, which is a nation that occupies its own state. And then there's a state, which is a politically defined territory that has its own government. A multinational state, which is a, a state that has multiple different nations within it. A multi-state nation, which is a single nation that crosses multiple borders. And then a stateless nation, which is a nation without its own state. Um, the boundary process. The first step of the boundary process is to delimit or identify what land you want to own. The second step is to define, which is to have a formal agreement on the, on the boundary. The third step is to demarcate the boundary, which is to put up signs and make it clear that it's your boundary. And then the step four is to administrate it, which is to enforce laws and um, draw boundary lines. Um, the different types of boundaries. Um, first is geometric, which is based on a grid system. Uh, the second is uh, political physical boundaries based on uh, tangible boundaries that are present in nature. Um, superimposed boundaries, which are put in place by usually another government or higher power. Um, relic boundaries, which are boundaries that once existed historically and no longer exist. Subsequent boundaries were put in place after a significant settlement. And then antecedent boundaries were a boundary that was put in place before a significant se settlement. <clears throat> electoral regions. Electoral regions um, make up a local state or a uh, national government. And sometimes gerrymandering may occur within that, within those uh, electoral regions to give an advantage to a single ethnic or political party. Ethnic and religious conflicts. Um, the ethnic conflicts are um, armed conflicts between ethnic groups, and religious conflicts are usually based on intolerance between different eth uh, religions. Uh, Two examples of ethnic and religious conflicts are the breakup of Yugoslavia, which was once a united state. Um, it was, uh, there was many different ethnic groups within that state, and it then ended up breaking up into seven, se seven separate states. Um, and then also in India, uh, India and Pakistan used to be one united country, but there was difference in religion, and so it broke up into Pakistan and India, Pakistan becoming a a Muslim-only country in India becoming a Hindu country. Centripetal and centrifugal forces. Um, centripetal forces are forces that unify a country, and these can include a uh, single homogenous religion, uh, nationalism, a uh, homogenous language, and sports, or like the Olympics. Um, centrifugal forces are things that divide a country, and that can be an unstable government, uh, fragmented shape of this of the state or country, and then cultural diversity. And geopoliticians include uh, Ratzel for the German school, who came up with the organic state theory, which um, states that a territory uh, is sort of like food for a state, and it sort of it fuels the progression for the state. And then Mackinder in the British school who came up with the Heartland Theory, um, which is based on the, the, fa the thought that Eurasia is sort of the center of the world, and whoever controls that will control the rest of the world. <laughs>